opens up, the crabs skitter on in, start eating whatever we got in there. That is a very angry little horseshoe crab. Ugh. Today we are here on the pier, we have two different kinds of crab traps. This right here is like a cheaper one. This is a little net. As you guys can see, we have some frozen bunker that we got here today. We kind of tied it into there. So this is kind of like, I think it's called a ring trap. You just kind of, boom, the crabs walk up into there. You set them up, boom. This guy, he's a little bit more expensive over here. Oh my God, I don't even know if you can hear the wind. It's so freaking loud. We have a GoPro set up in this one. And this is, this is like kind of like a bougier, fancier kind of crab trap. So you put this down to the bottom opens up the crabs skitter on in start eating whatever we got in there then <laughs> bring them up to the top hopefully the gopro catches the whole thing that's gonna be freaking sick if we can see like a little underwater view so uh, yeah the cool thing about being out here too today there's a bunch of fish that should be around as well i got one of my rods there should be bluefish running around that'll be really cool if, if there's a freaking blizzard bluefish it is about to go down there's also some puffer fish but we're i mean i'm just trying to get some crabs today man the only thing i could find for bait was frozen bunker but hopefully it's gonna do the job here today let's get these things down kelsey's with me too let's try and catch some crabs man Here is the big boy. I'm really hoping that like this is gonna be so freaking sick if you get like an underwater view. I'm thinking, really what I'm thinking, I'm gonna put this whole, it's already starting to thaw. I'm gonna cut the tail off actually. Give it a little bit more scent here. Just like that. Let's stick this dude. All I gotta do for this one is stick it right under this little metal wiry thingy. Oh my gosh. Ew. I mean, it's not fresh bunker, but it still should work decent enough. Let me see if this view is all right on this GoPro. Yeah, it should be good. All right, GoPro's running. Glasses are dropped. Hopefully this looks cool. Let's throw this dude down over here. A little bit down this way. All right, boom. So GoPro is officially at the bottom there. Hopefully you guys can see something it's like kind of windy ish and the tide's coming in but i think it should be pretty clear down there i'm hoping at least hopefully it's not like a bunch of sand kicking up everywhere but if a crab comes out and starts munching i think it's gonna be so sick if you can actually see him so we'll leave that dude right there all right then over here let's set this dude up just in case any bluefish i mean the bluefish craziness is starting to uh unfold here set this dude up so we brought the big boy out here this is my surf fishing rod. We got it out on the pier. We've got some metal baits and stuff just in case, man. Ugh. High tide is coming. The tide is coming in. So if I mean, dude, that's just going to, it's going to be insane. Everybody's pretty spread out. I mean, we're being very safe and social distancing about this whole thing. I was even sketched out to come to the pier today. All I can say is if they start freaking popping, dude, this is about to be havoc. If you guys remember from last, uh, like last year around this time, I was catching some big old freaking bluefish. That was so much fun. Hopefully we can get into some of those again. I guess I'm just gonna put, let me see what I have here. I have two spoons. I'm gonna put this dude on. If you're fishing for bluefish, you really just want something single hook like that. To be completely honest, man, these are some of the scariest fish I have ever caught. We're talking about like, I was catching multiple 30 inch freaking giant gator razor teeth. Like, these things are vicious, man. They will freaking take your finger off in a second. So we're gonna, a little one of these. All right, we have been in here for probably like five, 10 minutes. Let's just check to see what exactly is going on down here. This is the first one we dropped in. This is a basket and it is completely sideways. Sick, that is exactly what we want. Let's see if this one's twisted up too. We have a crab in there actually, but this is like all freaked up. <laughs> what are we doing, man? Why is this so tangled? I don't know what I'm doing, but as you guys can see first, crab of the day he is not a very happy guy we gotta get him out of there all right y'all first crab of the day there as you can see it's a female with this like wider skirt if it was like longer and skinnier that'd be a male nice little one right there man we're gonna let her back i have no freaking clue what i'm doing with these traps apparently they're all tangled let's let this girl go though
Hello there. Oh. Oh, we got something in there. Yo, hopefully that looks so sick on the GoPro. What the heck is that? That's not even a blue claw. What is that? Those look like the crabs we go fishing for talk with, kind of. I have absolutely no clue. Hopefully that was cool. Watch you guys saw like freaking Loch Ness monster down there. We're gonna drop that all back down. Hopefully the GoPro stays in. I uh, gorilla taped it very nicely. <laughs> Look at all this stuff in the water, man. The freaking, the, the problem with the wind, we were out on the beach yesterday, and today we're out here on the pier. Like, the wind is whipping, and the tree pollen levels here in Delaware are, like, extremely high. So my freaking allergies have just been on X Games mode. Okay, what am I doing here? We gotta fix this one real quick. Oh, 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 Dude, that might be it. That is a big old freaking crab right there. I'll show you actually. Oh, dude, this is this is a freaking keeper, right? First keeper of the day. This is a female. We're not gonna keep really too many females. Oh my gosh. Chill, girl. I, I don't need you over here pinching me. Look out, dude. Do you see how freaking blue and pretty her claws are? Holy crap. So, you see this point right here? to this point right here that has to be five inches i'm guessing this was this is probably like six ish all right so hard crab point to point that is five inches let's see point point to point oh that is well above yeah that is six inches right there pretty much all right it's freaking windy i want to put her in the thing this is a good start to the day man oh my gosh All right, yeah, pull that one up. That's gonna be the fun one to look back at. Ooh. Ooh that's a big one, no? E Ooh, I don't know if that one's gonna keep. No. That'd be so it. cool if you could hopefully see it on the GoPro. Nah, no, uh, she's a little baby see the GoPro one. Watch, there's like two GoPros in it now. Nothing. Let me go scoop this one up. These freaking, like that one is almost officially retired. It, it, when it's windy like this and the tide's coming in, these like freaking net ones are just not the wave. Yeah, nope, there's nothing on that. Oh, a little baby. 
They're like munching this, man. This whole freaking piece is almost gone. Oh, there's a crab in there, actually. Well, that's a big one, too, I think, actually. Hold on. I think that might... That might be keeper number two right there. Let's see. Where is the, the measure, ma measure? Bingo bongo. We got crab number two to join. Number one in there. We got some bunker. We got some crabs. Two for the day. Hopefully we can get maybe like a couple more. So the bluefish are really not showing up here. We've been getting a few little crab hits here and there. But this thing right here is actually something I bought from Walmart. As you guys can see, it's this crab snare. Um, this was, I don't, I don't even remember when I got this. But this little thing right here, hopefully, I'm gonna tie it onto my fishing rod. Watch, right when I take this boom off, the freaking bluefish are gonna start blitzing. But pretty much what this thing is, uh, it's just kind of what its name is. It snares the crabs. I've never used anything like this before. I've seen a lot of people use these like in California. This is like a little latch. You do that, open it up, and right inside there, you're gonna put the bait. So we're gonna cut up some bunker. You know, a little bunker nuggets, just kind of put them into that. This should be on the bottom. The crabs should be kind of smelling it and kind of sniffing it and coming up to it, kind of sticking their little claws and they're trying to eat it. And these things right here, hopefully like, all right, so here, here it is right, right there. On this side, there's a swivel. I don't know if you can see that. While the crab's eating this, this is gonna be tied to my fishing line, and I'm gonna set the hook, and then this is the crab. He just comes on with me. Go over, start eating, start eating, gets the claws kinda just hanging out there, I guess. Boom, set the hook, gets the claws, bring the crab up. We eat crab for dinner. Watch, I'm telling you, right when I freaking clip this out, the bluefish are gonna be balling out here. Uh, let me see, open this dude up. All right, we need thin slices. Let me see here, got the bait in there lock this sucker up i have absolutely no clue if this is gonna work or not but i mean hopefully the, yeah, yeah so you tie this onto the little swivel over here fishing for crabs let me know if you guys ever tried this before it's not like you feel a bite or anything i don't think i think you just like kind of yoink it this might actually work a little better too i could fit like good old guts and stuff in here all right so i'm just gonna cast this out i guess i don't know how far i should throw it it's just yeah Let that sink to the bottom. All right, so we'll just, I guess, just leave that down there. What the frick? Oh, yo, get that up, get that up. Oh, oh. Get up, get up. Oh my god, what the heck? How did that? <laughs> that like barely was in there. I have absolutely no clue how that was like that. All right, yeah, dropper back on down there. To the right of that, yeah, right there. That's the secret spot. Kelsey officially caught her first keeper of the day. We're gonna have to go measure this here, home. <laughs> get that measure stick. It's got some big old points. I think that's gonna be good. Hard crib. Hold on, let me see that. Let's see, point yeah, there, over. point there. Oh, that is way beyond. All right, let's go. Oh, you got a little, little something in there. That's like a very dirty crab. That is totally sick. Oh my God, did you see that? It only has one claw, but it just freaking tried to slap me with it. She is like a keeper, but again, we don't really want to keep too many females and she's just very very dirty i said this last time i went crabbing but that girl like if she was a human that human would probably have an eye patch you think there's a crab on here i guess i just gotta buckle down the drag i really don't know i guess i just set the hook yeah i gotta eat this freaking you think there's a crab on there is there it's just kind of skipping along the surface 
think you just need to drop it. I don't know, like... I guess I need to preset. Just kind of cast it right over. Right there. I think that might work a little better. They're probably hugging this structure because of all this wind and stuff. Let's try this again here. This is closer to the dock. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. Yeah. Dude, I don't know if this thing freaking works or not. Let me know in the comments below how the heck I'm supposed to actually use this thing. I'm gonna keep casting it. It's definitely a... Uh, still windy. Jeez, dude, our freaking crabs are about to blow away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, bud. This is not a buffet here. That is a very angry little horseshoe crab. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Get back there, buddy. I was not recording. Okay, hold on. I freaking snagged. Oh my God, Kelsey. Tell him I'm not lying. I <laughs> just freaking. You just let it there though, because you were trying to record. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't have my GoPro rolling. Oh my gosh. I set the hook on it. It wasn't that big one, but like, it was just kind of dangling. Kind of big. It was kind of big? Ah, oh, dang it, dude. Oh my god, I got. Oh my. Dude, it was on it. Why does this snare not work? Yeah. It's so freaking windy today. It is absolutely insane. But come come take a look at our uh, gatherings for the day. We have approximately two, four, I think we have seven crabs in there. I know, I don't know if you can see the background or not, but there were like, there's a decent amount of people here, but everybody was six feet apart. We all were wearing face masks. Me and Kelsey were being very safe about it. Seemed like everybody was being, you know, generally safe, social distancing. We got some crabs. I'm literally so hungry. And crabs are one of my favorite freaking foods ever especially fresh caught crab when you catch it yourself it's like you know it's just like that much better so we're gonna take these things home chef first state is gonna make an appearance we got a recipe that hopefully is uh it's gonna be good man back in the kitchen once again chef first state reporting for duty now i know i've kind of been in the kitchen and cooking a lot recently i'm gonna be doing some other things not like every video is gonna be a catch and cook i know it's kind of seen that way definitely let me know if you guys want to see me catch and cook some more stuff in the future i think definitely i want to start doing it more outdoors i used to do that a lot where you know i catch clean and cook on the spot outdoors like on the beach or on the rock you know when you're out there cooking it cleaning it eating it right at the spot you just feel one with nature it's so relaxing man and it's so rewarding but here we go this is full of a lot of uh different things that kind of just like this I, I i'm scared to pick it out we got the little crab stand in there we got some cast master spoons i think my knife is in there too but here we go man these are actually like that dude right there that's a nice size you actually if you listen real quick you can hear them bubbling let's see if you hear it we got Barnacle Boy down here at the bottom too. So what we're going to be doing real quick, I'm going to clean these guys. The quickest way, the easiest way, and the most humane way to dispatch these kind of crabs. Oh my god, she's freaking armed. Please put that down. We don't want any problems here. Literally, she is trying to get some payback. That is actually kind of scary. Please put that down. Imagine like legit getting shanked. All right, um, hold on a second. Whew, that was a close one. All right, we have temporarily disarmed her. She's still got these big meaty claws. But uh, pretty much, I think this is the first one we caught here. Let's not do anything crazy here. All right, so you see that apron down there, that little darker spot? That is what we are going to bring open. Hold on, let me put a GoPro on real quick. I need two hands. Let me see if I can like show you guys this real quick. You just have to appreciate though. Like look at the freaking colors. Like look at that claw, man. Just those blues, so freaking vibrant. Like somebody cranked the saturation up on them things. She wants to hold a lot of stuff. And she now has my fork. This is just professional as possible. All right, please let go there, okay? You can just hold on to that, I guess. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna come back, pop this little apron open. So pretty much like right when you pop that shell off, they just kinda, you know. There we go, that is a completely clean crab. Now some people do, like there's this stuff uh, that's kinda in here, it's kinda weird. People call it crab butter, it's not, like some people like love to eat it, but I am not gonna do that. It's definitely not the healthiest. Here are the cleaned crabs, pretty much all I did. As I showed you guys, I just kind of cleaned up the insides, took the gills out. These guys are ready to go. We are going to put them in a, uh, let me show you real quick. These dudes are going to get dropped in here. We've got some water boiling. We're going to kind of try to steam them. I, mean, I haven't really steamed anything before. 
I think that uh, all we're gonna do is just drop these dudes right down in there. It shouldn't take too long either. Wow, that is some hot, hot water. Boom. Boom. All right, Operation Crab Steam ready to go. We'll put this lid back on. I think, I don't know if I put too much water in there or not. I don't know if they're gonna get boiled or steamed or whatever. They're kind of twitching. So we're just gonna do that. Just look at that blue, man. They're so freaking sick. All right, see if those will cook up real nice. I think that should have been enough time. Let's take a look here real quick. Ooh, we're gonna stick our giant freaking fork into this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, these are, yeah, these are done. Ow! Leg fall offage. These are hot. Of course, like, you really should use tongs for this, but you know, Chef First State kind of working with what he got here. Ow, looks like some of these are meaty, man. These big meaty claws. Boom, boom, boom. That little claw right there. That thing could use some dumbbells, huh? That in there. All right, put this off to the side. We are officially done with that. Now, I, I know I didn't really show too much of the actual cleaning process. If you guys want to see more of that, I think I put more in the last crab video that I did, which we made some freaking bomb, Kelsey. Tell me, it was some good crab bisque, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Like we, I've never made crab bisque before. Crab bisque, if you guys don't know, it's like a soup. It's like a heavy soup with like cream and stuff. It's, it's freaking amazing. We made it here and it was one, it was probably to this day, the best catch and cook I've ever done, like taste wise. I agree. I'm like a super big fan of crabs. So today uh, we could just eat these. Like these would have been good if we would have put some Old Bay on them or something. Just, you know, kind of. We're going to be going overboard here and uh, we're going to be making something pretty cool with this. So we already got the oven preheating. Hopefully we have the stuff we're like all our groceries has been kind of weird since this whole thing as i said we've been getting like delivery like for groceries and we just we, we don't have many groceries so we're gonna work with what we got we are gonna be making though what, what was it was it called again cheesy craft dip cheesy dude doesn't that just sound freaking amazing man freaking cheesy oh, cheesy crab dip crab dip is just like one of those things i feel like you cannot mess it up i gotta I don't know what I'm doing, man. I gotta throw my apron on here. I'm gonna get to peeling these guys. It's probably gonna be the most annoying part of this whole process. It smells pretty good though. So we got the oven preheating. We're gonna get the ingredients out. I got my sous chef. Let me show you real quick. Let me whip. Ooh, it's kind of hot actually. I've eaten a lot of crabs in my life. I wouldn't say like I'm a professional crab cleaner or anything. We're gonna start at the back here. This is like the best part. Look at all that right there. That's called the cluster. That like you just dip that in some good old garlic butter. That is, oh my God, that is one of the best. But we're just gonna put all the meat we get Bring it out, put it into the bowl. Ow, that is freaking hot. Once we get all that out from the appendages, I don't know what you call that. Then you just kind of break through, pop it out. Like look at that little meat right there. The legs, kind of like the same thing. Just pop that. See if there's anything in there. Just kind of squeeze that out a little bit into the bowl. There is just so much meat in there. I'm gonna get the claw off. We're gonna need, ooh, look at that. I just wanna eat it right now, but we're gonna try to stack up. As much as we possibly can. I'm, I think I'm gonna need the crackers for these dudes. Big meaty claws. The claw meat is one of the, like it's one of my favorite parts. Get all that in there. Gonna have to use a cracker for this. And then the body meat. This is like, take this leg off. This is where, ooh, majority of the meat really is on these crabs, especially, I mean, just like, look at this man. Hey man, that's all we're gonna do is just go through all these freaking crabs, get as much of the uh, meat as we can get put it in the bowl. This is gonna be very uh, tedious, but is it going to be worth it? That is the question. If you guys could just stop what you're doing real quick, go down there. If you are enjoying this video, please smash that thumbs up button. I literally, it took me, like we pre preheated the oven. It took me a while to pick out, look though, that's seven crabs. That's actually, like that is a lot of meat in there. So went through the claws, went through the body, went through the legs, the, everything. We just gotta know what our ingredient tastes like. I didn't even try any yet. Like literally one of my favorite foods of all time, especially catching them and cooking them. All right, we got some ingredients here. What we're gonna put in here first. One uh, thing of cream cheese, Ooh. half a cup of sour cream. Hello. <laughs> time to wake up neighbors. <laughs> I just inserted as well a half cup of mayonnaise. Ugh, it's gonna be a little tough here. I don't, how, what's the best tool for this? As you can see, we have a beautiful white mixture. Kind of looks like fluff. We're gonna put this into this beautiful bowl right here. It's gonna stick into my spoon a little bit. This is around a, a tablespoon of onion. Look at that. You got a nice zoom in of that, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Like this is gold right here. Mm -hmm.
Got all that. That's actually like for seven crabs. There's a lot of meat right there. My hands are clean, by the way. Washed them like a billion times. Half of a lemon juiced. Ah. Squeezing the soul out I of this thing. I think it's good. Think it's good? Mm-hmm. I need one more squeeze. Ah, all right. That was a juicy one. Some shakes of salt. Put it in my hand first. Uh, pepper. Oh yeah. We have some tapatio. We actually don't have any Tabasco. So we're just gonna... Oh. Why do you always make that noise when I put stuff on it? I'm scared you didn't add too much. One cup cheese. <laughs> Just puts the whole thing in. We're gonna do a little stir on this guy right here. Just give her a little flat in and out right here. Bam, all right. One nice like little coating over the. What the heck is going on? Here? I have literally like I have not eaten probably since like 10 a.m. and it is like 10:30 p.m. right now. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna be feasting, man. Let's just get a nice little like look at look at this beautifulness right there. 25 to 30 minutes. Should I put it on the top or? Should I was put it on the top. Way she goes. T minus. Two minutes and 28 seconds. Dude, it is starting to be aromatic in here. The smells is just, it's just intensifying by the minute. Let me just say real quick though, if you guys are, I think I said this earlier, but if you guys are enjoying the catch and cook videos, please make sure to go down there. And let me know what else you'd like to see me catch and cook. And also let me know if you guys like this kind of video. This was not like a straight up fishing video. I filmed some videos like this before, but yeah, I mean, it, it was a lot of fun to go out there. As I said though, I'm not really eating yet today. I cannot be more excited. One minute. 32 seconds. Kelsey, the countdown is on. Let me actually, hold on. I gotta do something. Boom, all right, now it is officially a catch and cook. We were actually just reviewing, I'm importing the footage now, but we reviewed some of the underwater footage. That was so freaking cool. And between all those, like, I guess those are hermit crabs that were down there and some of those crab eating like little clips. It was so cool. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It is freaking, all right, stop that. Turn the oven light on here. Um, is it bubbling? That is a good question. Uh, oh, dude, it is. It is bubbling. It is a little bubbly in there. All right, I need you to do the honors. Just open this for me. Oh. Ooh, that's bubbling, baby. All right, hold on. Let me get one of these things. Um, put this over right there. It smells good, huh? Oh. Let's just li here, listen to the sound real quick. Okay, it's burning my hands through this oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> you said the sound is your hand burning. Oh, dude. That is like amazing. That Ooh. smell is so, like what is it? Describe the aroma. Stalk you with the camera. Like Hello, ma'am. Like you a crabby, mind? cheesy dip. So what's like the deal here? What's protocol? A we gotta let this kind of just like cool down or something? We're yeah. just gonna go for it. All right, you gotta do the honors first. Cheesy crab dip. Fresh caught, fresh picked. I slaved. My fingers have bled for your enjoyment. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, ooh. Thought it'd be more of a pool. Oh, there it is. That looked kind of nice. Thing. You got some crab on there? Let me, let me see that. Bite. I don't know. Hold on. It looks ooh. so hot though. Steamy. Yeah, I would definitely blow that. Let me check. Well, what's on your watch? Mmm. <laughs> Is it good? Sometimes we like to get, like we go to this one restaurant, we get like pretzels with like cheesy crab dip kind of thing over it. What was that face for? Mm. The face looks like it was hot. You know when something's hot and you're starting to like, where's more, more chips? Man? I'm about to dig into this. Dump. That was not a disgusted face. It was like, this is hot and I'm not sure how hot it really is hot. Oh, dude, it's freaking steaming up in here. I like, get, get back in there, boy. I want to try it with these chips. Oh. You really just <laughs> right it on the rainbow trout. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is bomb. Oh. Oh. It's like a commercial right there. Yeah. You should put that sound in the. <laughs> the cool. What, the Kool Aid man. Yeah. He breaks through the wall. Oh, we got the. Oh, what are you doing? Steaming. I see the steam. Oh my god, look at that steam. It's steamy steam. 
<laughs> we're gonna breathe fire. All right, well, we're gonna we're we're gonna eat this man. You wanna know just where? Well.